was an awful flirt. His charm was legendary. It hurt his steady girlfriend when she saw how Michael always hoped to score. One day, well, while Mike was chatting up a girl called Anna, whose bra cup was 38 and double D, his girlfriend told him, don't you see, if you go on, my plan is this, I'll have to shoot you. I won't miss. But Michael said, you won't, you know. You really love me, don't you know? And carried on to flirt some more. His girlfriend, feeling very sore, like Cupid, got a bow and arrow, aimed shot. His escape was narrow. Her shot did not go through his heart, but rather lower. It did smart. His girl is now seeing Anna. Bitch, says Michael, how was I to know that both the girls were by? And the moral is, a bird in the hand is worth two bitches in each other's bushes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very bitchy. actually about Venus. Uh, it's about the very oldest Venus, who looked rather Indian. She had two rows of breasts. Um, this is Venus and the Moon. Venus, many-breasted, most desired, reclines at noon at ease on her soft couch of quilted squirrel skins and wings of moths. She is the mistress of the moon, and when her lover's full face calls, and lets down a gleaming pathway to her feet. She twines the flowers of the night, the pale li lilies, in lazy garlands round her milky limbs, and singing she ascends. But when the moon's diminished to a sickle, Venus wears her cap of black henbane, takes her lustful owl upon her wrist, and roams the woods, striped creatures of the night at her heels, Searching for an earthly husband, she mourns her lover's fickle change of face. Um, on, on the theme of um, love, married love, um, I wrote a a poem in in echo echoing Philip Marlowe's called A Passionate Geezer to His Girlfriend. <laughs> a passionate young man to his love. Come live with me and be my love. And we shall confidently prove that two can live as cheap as one. And anyway, it might be fun. And we'll sit in a greasy calf. I'll do my best to make you laugh. At home, we'll watch my porno flicks so you'll know how I get my kicks. And I will buy you loads of bling, but maybe not a wedding ring. I'll buy you fishnet tights and kickers and cheeky bras and crotchless knickers. A rara skirt of poly cotton, much sexier than what you've got on. Four inch stilettos for your feet and boots for mincing down the street. A belt 12 inches wide with spikes and metal studs just like you like. And if you think I've spent enough, I hope you'll let me get you up the dove. <laughs> the boys will take me on the piss. We'll make some vows and share a kiss. But keep your job. Don't give it up. In case this marriage goes, tits up. <laughs> um, one, one more serious one. Called the Alchemist. This is actually about um, the uh, the artist Frank Arbach's paintings of um, e E O W, the the young lady that he well she he painted her for 23 years, so she was young when she started, but she got a little older. Every day, I offered him myself, or as much of myself as he wanted. And I saw he wanted all. Would capture every fleeting wince, each blink, each flicker of thought, each tightening of the lips. He would chase them with his knife, load brushes, and overwhelm them daily, until on the canvas all of my being was reduced 
to the accretion of his perceptions, his decisions. He called them irrelevancies, those transient expressions, searching for my essence, like an alchemist making gold. one that isn't quite so uh, destructive. It's called In Dark Night, and it's a haiku. Alone in dark night, I wake, I reach out for you, my skin recalls you. Thank you. <laughs>